Time now for Utah's most accurate forecast with Devin Lucy, weather rate certified eight years in a row. Welcome back to ABC4 News Midday, our first inaugural Food Truck Friday here in the summertime here outside of ABC4 News Studios. We are going to have a whole range of food trucks from one end to the other of everything you'd like to eat this summer. And you can find them all here in northern Utah. We're going to first start with the world's best corn dogs, to, dogs today. I'm with Denise and Russ Relier out of Kaysville. Russ, thanks for having us today. Yeah, it's a pleasure being here. Thanks for having us here, Devin. Awesome. We are going to get you caught up if you heard about the menu before. What makes things so special and what gets so much special to me is the batter how can I get the consistency of this like I, at home? I really can't do it. Is maybe that some well, of the you're, trick? You're going to ask me for the secret here on TV? Well, of course. That's why we're doing it. It's a lot of love. Uh, the, the secret, of course, I can't share with you. I'd have to shoot you, and I don't want to do that. But uh, <laughs> I appreciate that. We, it, it's uh, corn flour and, and cornmeal and batter, and there's some secret ingredients in it. And there's some other spices and seasonings. But how do you get that consistency to make that just quintessential corn dog to get that breading around it because I try things at home and it just falls right off and it's, it just goes right in the batter. It's a matter of just balance and your ingredients in the amount, right, right amount of moisture and and consistency. So, That's the big thing we try to teach our the guys are working for. It's all about the batter. So what you're telling me is I need to be a professional. Professional corn dog dipper. Why don't you batter one of us up here and show us how all we right. do it here, Russ. There we go. So we're going to take the dog and we're going to dip it in the batter. We want to make sure it gets well covered. And you'll see it's not too runny. It's not too thick. We got to have that perfect consistency. We let it drip off there. We give a little twirl. And you don't want the batter to, to be too runny or to be too thick. We drop it in the fryer for twirl around here for four or five seconds. And um, we want to get a little hard coating around there before we drop it. And then we just let it go, and we cook these dogs for five minutes, um, and magic happens. <laughs> the magic happens. It all happens in this bucket. Oh, my goodness. I'll bet it does happen. The magic happens even more when it, when it gets in my belly, I can yeah. tell you that. And speaking of that, I'd like if maybe, Denise, you can come out here with me and follow me in a minute. Russ, yeah. thank you. We're going to get thank back you. outside here in a minute. We're going to have Mr. Todd follow us back out here. But we've got a whole group that have met us, and they can tell us firsthand of how good these corn dogs. And our first up here, it's not actually even a corn dog, but we're with our own Marquis here, one of our own producers for the afternoon shows for the 4 p.m. Marquis, you don't have the corn dog. What do you have? I have the cheese, the cheddar cheese. The cheddar cheese. So tell me about this. Is this the world's greatest cheese beautiful. dog you've ever had? Yeah, it's beautiful and it tastes as good as it looks. Oh my goodness, that's fantastic. Let's find another one here behind us. Let's see who else has got it. We've got a couple down here. Todd, let's let's go ahead. Oh my goodness, we have our own Ida here, who's part of the, the newsroom and has been around for years. What do you think? Is this really, truly the world's greatest corn dog? It truly is. I love their corn dogs. <laughs> it's fantastic. I'm a follower. And we have Rondi over here too. Rondi, can you concur with this? They are the world's best. And I had them down in St. George about three years ago. And I have followed them. I love them. <laughs> can it get any better than that? Yeah. I'm going to see if Denise can join me here in just a minute. I know she's got her hands full. We're going to try to do some weather as well. But before we go, where's the best place that we can find where you are or where the food trucks will be? Today, um, we're going to be at Soho Food Park from 5 to 9. Okay. Um, let's see. We have like six. Where can we follow you to find out where oh, you're going to be? You can follow us on Instagram, Facebook. Um, at World's Best Corn Dogs. Okay, that's yeah. probably one of the best ways. And I'll have one last question. Todd, go ahead and show everything while we're here. We're going to do a quick weather, then we're going to come back one last time. But let's get a live look outside by Ryder Cam. Can you believe a day like this for our first food truck Friday? Nothing but sunshine. And in that sun, it's actually feeling so fantastic. Usually I'd be in the sun this time of the year. Did you know summer solstice? And I would be bursting into flames. So here's a look at where we stand with temperatures around the Wasatch Front. We are still relatively relatively cool for the time of the year and those temperatures all across the region we are working kind of crisp cool for the time of the year now here's a look at low temperatures today can you believe logan was at 36 but that's not the coolest spot that i'd seen 
I saw 32 in Park City. Freeze warnings for northeast Nevada here tonight. It's going to be that cold, folks. Cold front is still stalled over southern Utah. It will move through a little bit later. And as it does so, it brings in some cooler air for everybody across the region. Could be an isolated shower to pop as we go through later into the forecast northern Utah. Today, tomorrow, the chances 20% chance or less. Today, the likeliest rain chances will be over southeast Utah. We're talking Monticello, the Blanding, maybe Moab, Arches and Canyonlands, maybe has a shower or two, but a thunderstorm is also possible. Hanksville would be included. St. George, your seven-day forecast. We're looking for those top temps, upper 80s today, falling lower to mid 80s tomorrow. And then we're looking for temperatures back up to near 90 by second half of the weekend. And Wasatch Front Salt Lake forecast here, we're looking for those top temperatures to also be looking at temperatures falling to the mid to upper 60s today, tomorrow, and then back up to those temperatures that'll be on the order of at least average for the time of the year coming back in. So back here live for our first food truck Friday. Denise, thank you so much. Your other half here, Russ, inside doing the dirty work for us, yeah. but world's best corn dogs out of Kaysville. Really appreciate you coming out here today. Thanks. Thanks for having us. This has been wonderful. Awesome. Remember to follow them on Facebook, Instagram, and all the others. And we'll find you once more again tonight. Where? At Soho Food Park. Soho Food nine. Park from 5 till 9. And food Holiday. Truck Fridays. That's in Holiday. And we'll see you from here.